family. Isho, a very nice and very smart girl, will soon join her mother and her grandmother, who are expert weavers. Their family loves to weave, but do not have many resources to do so. I'm so tired of weaving. It's so much work and we don't have any money. I know, but we must work hard for Isha. She needs an education. Isha enters the room. She is wearing a backpack and appears to be returning home from a school after a long day of learning. School was so tiring today. Mom, can I please help you with weaving? No, we shall. You know we don't have enough supplies. We cannot afford enough thread for you, for her, and for her abuela, and for me. I'm sorry, Isha. I was like you when I was younger. I'm sorry, honey. You can't work with me. It costs so much, and we don't have enough money for you to go to school. Isho arrives in her bedroom and is very sad. Mom and my mom never let me be. I want to help family like she does, but I have no way to help. A magic rabbit appears in Isho's room. Don't give up, Sam. What was that? Don't give up. You don't have to use thread and fabric to weave. You can help your mom and grandmother another way. But they won't let me, I and mean, we don't have enough money to get materials. No money, no problem. You can go uh, find the, the materials in nature. Do you really think so? Here I go. Then Isha went exploring through the fields surrounding her home. Too scratchy and too ugly. The grass swimming was so bad that she started crying. <laughs> Suddenly, one of her mean old neighbors appeared. Lisa, don't cry and don't annoy me. Isha kept moving through the field to find another material to weave with. Soon she came across some cotton that, was, that she wanted to make into a beautiful design. This cotton could work. It's soft and white and very pretty. Isha was so surprised that she dropped the cotton and she and the sheep ran all over it. Oh my gosh, I lost control again. Isha was so frustrated. To relax, she went to the market. Get your eggs, milk and wool here. We sell fruits and vegetables for cheap. Buy them now. As Isha walked through the market, she saw that there were plastic bags literally on the ground, everywhere. Blue, yellow, white, red, green. They were, they were everywhere and they made the market look ugly. All of a sudden, the magic rabbit appears. I never thought of that. Then the ground would be prettier and I can make rocks to help my mom. That would be so smart, you show. She spends hours weaving them together, making colorful patterns. Finally, Isha's mom and her grandmother walked into her room and saw her creation. Wow, it's so beautiful! I'm so proud of my little girl. How 
how did you make this? Oh, I had some really good help, and I'm so happy that I finally could help you. Maybe we can sell it at the market. So the family walked to the market. He was smiling as she carried her plastic wheel. Within a minute, a two women approaching their family market store. And it's so soft, I must have it. How much money does it cost? It's 100 pesos. Is that okay? Of course. Thank you very much. That's, that's good price. Is it made from plastic bags? That's so cool. Have a nice day. Wow, you show your first video. Good job. Then they all went home. The next few months, Isha continued, continued picking up plastic bags from her community. And she sold so many designs that she made enough money to go to school. Several months later, Isha's mom came to Isha, to Isha one night with excited surprise. Hi, mom. Hi, Isha. We have enough money now that I can buy you a machine with it. Would you want to go pick one out tomorrow, uh, together tomorrow after school? No, mom. That's really kind of you. Isha had worked so hard for her family, and the hard work paid off. She had made her mother and her grandmother.